Hello and welcome to our third little mini test that we're doing. Now today we're going to be uh, just giving you a quick insight into the H&N Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Now these are a relatively new pellet to me. Um, obviously they're not uh, completely brand new on the market and I did buy these as a bit of a substitute um, as the idea is that I get um, or I'm, I'm trying to find a tin of the H&N Hornet pellets. Uh, if you haven't had a look at those go and have a look at them on Google or wherever because they do look pretty awesome. Um, it's basically a hollow point with a massive brass um, harpoon sticking out the front. Now the idea is to do a video coming up where we incorporate all of our different pellet um, um, reviews if you want to call them that um, and I'm going to do something quite special. It's work in progress so bear with me on that one um, but I'm really really excited to try and to, uh, to bring you this video. Now anyway we'll, anyway, we'll move back to this, uh, these pellets here. Now these ones here I think cost me about uh, 8 or £9, pounds, maybe a little bit more, and you get 400 per tin. Uh, they're designed for longer distances um, and they can, you know, I've read up a little bit about them, they're designed for either target or just light game, so anything from your um, pigeons to, you know, whatever. I don't personally hunt as of yet, so I can't really comment too much about the practicalities of these um, when you're actually on the field with them. Um, they come in at 0.62 grams, so they're a little bit heavier than the Day State Lees, uh, and it's 9.57 grain for anybody that's interested. Now, as I'm sure you can see on the front of the tin, um, I'll show you on here because it's probably a little bit easier than trying to get a macro of the pellet itself. It does come with this really cool little cross um, hollow section on the front. Uh, that really does aid expansion brilliantly. Um, again, whilst we've been playing with various Coke cans, bottles, that kind of thing, um, you know we've got some really really good patterns from these uh, the expansion rates as well the pellets when we've recovered them have just you know they've doubled in width quite easily we've been really impressed by them groupings as well for anybody that's looking at using them for hunting or anything like that groupings are really really tight i can pretty much say with confidence if you're a good shot you should be able to um achieve some incredibly accurate uh shots and some really tight groupings with these so I would recommend them in that respect. Now they are a little bit heavier, but I can kind of say with confidence they do pack a hell of a punch. They're really, really good. Um, now again, as I said earlier, we are going to do a little bit of a, a ballistics test as such. Um, a friend of ours is qualified as a uh, forensic scientist and specialises in ballistics. He's very, very kindly said he's going to come and give us a hand with uh, with filming this and putting it together. I hope to have it on the screens by the summer. I mean, it's it's majorly weather dependent and dependent on a few other things as well. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you in, in touch and informed with that. If you've got any questions on these, I know I haven't really gone into too much detail on these pellets. Um, feel free to comment or anything below. Uh, and again, I'll try and answer them as best as I can or um, as quickly as I can. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.